Welcome back. Today I've got another Borderlands 2 build for you guys with the Vault Hunter Mayor. Um, I'll be going over the level 30 one, the character that you can spawn in with the Commander Lilith DLC. I'll be going over what weapons you should get at the start of the game and what skill points I recommend putting your points into. So what I've done here is I've pretty much grabbed all of the Vault Hunters from the Psycho to the Gunzerker, right? And they all come with a uh, unique gun. So like the Psycho will have the Heartbreaker, Gunzerker will have the Lady Fist, etc. And what I've done is I've swapped all the gear slash duplicated all the gear onto my other level 30 characters. So you can pretty much start the game with all of these guns right here um, at level 30 before you even get into true Vault Hunter mode. So you've got the Heartbreaker, which is a really good Hyperion fire shotgun. Um, also does increase melee damage if you want to do like a melee zero build. Um, I've got the Miss Moxie's Good Touch, which you can get from tipping her, and you can also get the Bad Touch on the corrosive side of the gun, which these two are really good guns, um, especially in normal mode and true Vault Hunter mode. So you can pick those up by tipping her, and you'll just have to uh, reset the game, uh, save and quit, and then jump back in, and then tip her again, and then you can get the Bad Touch as well. Um, then the Swift Hail is from one of the other characters which I've duplicated the Lady Fist as well and then I've duplicated the Absorb Shield um, which you can get a better shield from the Sanctuary Chests from using the Skeleton Keys as well as a better class mod if you want to as well. Then I've gone with the um, Fire Elemental Damage Relic which is from the Psycho I'm pretty sure and then just the Sky Rocket um, uh, grenade and then I've given myself the hive which I've duplicated the flying Laz cow don't know how to pronounce that and the practical thinking Hyperion shotgun which you can find from other the vault hunters as well which is just really good for slagging enemies um, another thing I would do after beating the warrior is getting the moxies endowment which increases your XP gained from every time you kill a person so as soon as you beat the warrior, finish the game, before you go into true Vault Hunter mode, you want to go find um, Mordecai and then beat the, uh, get the um, quest, the good, the bad, and the Mordecai. And at the end, um, you can get this relic, which increases your XP. Um, another couple of pieces of items that I don't have in my inventory that I recommend uh, getting will be the Bee Shield from the Trees in the Tiny Tina DLC. Uh, really easy to get. It'll take you probably like five runs and you should get one, uh, maybe even less. Uh, it just increases your damage. It'll be a far better shield than this one. I just use this uh, Absorb Charge shield because you can get the um, Logan's gun from the uh, from Wilhelm and pretty much have infinite rocket ammo by shooting yourself with an Absorb Charge shield. So if you want, you can have infinite hive shots or whatever rocket launcher as well. So you can go farm the Sanctuary chests and get like purple rocket launchers, uh, better grenade, relic, whatever, unless you want to use this. Um, and yeah, so I've just pretty much duplicated all the gear from all the other characters and just sent them onto this one character before I've even started into the game. Just a really good way to um, start the game. Then you can also um, do the BFFs quest in Sanctuary if you want to do a melee build for Zero um, and potentially Krieg and get the Order Shield as well. And you can farm the Warrior for uh, the Conference Call by farming the Moonshot um, and also getting Purples, Iridium and Blues. Um, but yeah, that's how I would start the game, um, and then you get a whole bunch of unique and purple and legendary weapons and items before you even jump into true Vault Hunter mode. Then for the skill points, I would rock this right here. Um, after putting all your points into these, I would focus on the Cataclysm Tree. So I would get Flicker, which increases your chance to cause elemental static effects with Fire Shock, Corrosive and Slag by 30%. Foresight, which increases magazine size and reload speed with all weapons. Uh, Cloud Kill, definitely get this. Um, this is one of her best skills to have. It just does really good corrosive damage 
to enemies. And then you want to max out chain reaction as well. Um, while you have an enemy phase locked, all your shots that hit enemies have a chance to ricochet and hit an another ear a nearby enemy. Chain reaction only works with bullets. Then I would go for Reaper. Um, after you've got a Mind Eye and Accelerate, I'll go over those after. Which increases your gun damage uh, to anyone that has more than 50% health. So this is great for bosses. And then I would go for Ruin, which is a really great skill. Um, her action skill now deals slag, uh, corrosive, and electrocutes all nearby enemies. Um, then if you're getting down, I would go with Immolate, which just increases your gun damage by 50% and adds incendiary damage to any gun that you have while you're down. Um, Mind's Eye increases critical hit damage by 25% and melee damage by 30 and Accelerate increases gun damage by 15% and bullet speed by 20%. So that's how I would start the game at level 30. Um, if you are not that great at the game, you can increase your shield capacity and recharge delay. Um, that's if you're having trouble with your shield or whatever, but I don't need it running through normal mode or through Vault Hunter mode. Um, another great skill would be Wreck, so while you have an enemy phase lock, you deal increased fire rate and gun damage. This is a definitely a must. And you want to have res if you're playing in a team. Say you have like a buddy and he's a gunzerker or whatever. If he gets down, then you can res him with your phase lock. And this tree is primarily just for healing. So if you're having trouble with your health or you're getting down too much, then put your points into uh, regenerating 1% of your max health per second while phase lock is active, etc. Um, and yeah, so that's how I would start the game, and then if you look at my OP10 build, I actually go over all the skills that I would recommend using at Overpowered 10, which you can follow as well. Um, Inertia is another good kill skill to have, which increases your reload speed and regenerates uh, your max shield as well, and fleet is good with the breakneck banshee and rough rider class mods, so you can run way faster. But yeah, that is beautiful. I'll uh, show you some gameplay as well. Go kill some bandits. So this gun here is like really insanely good for critical hit damage. This one does an 800% critical hit damage, so any crits, if you're really good at shooting people in the head, um, that aren't robots, I would definitely use it. I like pretty much just one-shots anyone in the head. So that's the lady first. Um, this is the heartbreaker here. Pretty good as well. And that's the cloud kill there, so it, it does really great damage. This is the Mix Moxie's gun. And the Hail. I don't really like this gun, but it does really good damage. You have to like, almost aim down to shoot the enemies, which is kind of weird, but it does really good damage. You gotta pretty much play like this. But yeah, if you want to choose a different gun, like the Hive. And bomb the dead. These are all really great guns to start the game with. Um, and then, yeah, just pair whatever rocket launcher with an Absorb Shield and go get the Logan's gun from Wilhelm. And then you can just have infinite rockets as well running through um, True Vault Hunter mode. Uh, then I will show you Slag Shotgun and the uh, Lascal. Slag Shotgun, just really great for slagging. Also, you can just run around and just shoot them, and look at that, just absolutely decimates everyone. These have got to be my favourite type of shotguns, as my favourite shotguns. I won't die here! Wasn't even close! And I'll show you the Lascal as well. 
This is a pretty good SMG as well. But yeah, if you pair any of these guns with the B-Shield from the um, trees of the Tiny Tina DLC, you'll just absolutely like decimate everyone in true Vault Hunter mode. Um, yeah. Should be a pretty easy playthrough if you just follow all these guns that I recommend, duplicating from your other uh, characters or swapping them over. Um, and I'll show you the grenade as well. So this grenade's just, the damage is just based on what level you are, so every time you level up it just does more and more damage, so you can just run around and keep this on um, all of True Vault Hunter mode as well, and it should one shot most enemies that um, aren't robots or bosses, but yeah. That's all the guns I recommend swapping, and here's the build. Just jump on over to my OP10 build if you want a full guide on Mayo, and just please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.